video going down here today. I'm gonna go get some hay bales from uh, a fellow farmer about 15 minutes away, but first I gotta go pick up the trailer. she stays latched. We're gonna make damn sure it does before we take off though. She's old but she works. So this is actually Tim Linz's trailer with uh, Eagle Valley Transit here. Spread axle, you know the deal. We love them spread axles. I don't know how long this flatbed is, but it's it's pretty nice. And then he's got this nice deck built back here. They use it to deliver seed and you know hauling bales. That really adds on to the trailer. And then you can actually just grab it with the forklift and take that right off. And then he's got ramps that go in down here. So it's actually a beaver tail trailer, but. You know it works good for getting that last little bit in usage when you're hauling seed boxes and chemicals and hay and anything like that I don't know what year it is what brand it is somebody will probably tell me but it seems to work pretty good used it a couple times works all right and you know, of course, the W900 looks good. No question about that. So, we'll get on the road. We'll see if we can find some hay bales. Big trucking. You're looking tough, buddy. Looking rough. You know what they say? That ain't going nowhere. We'll see. <laughs> well, a few bales brought in, two loads, 50 bales. Some over there. Mason's got the last one to take off. 
Dalton already ground up a bunch of them. I can see from the last load, so that should last him a little while, but these front ones are the sketchiest ones here, because if they roll forward, they're going to hit the truck. So those are the sketchy ones, but that's that. Get us through a few weeks. You can see the haylage in the back is getting pretty low, so still got another bag of haylage over there. And two bags of snaplage that I made, but need some more hay. So we got some. So cleaning the cab of the chopper out today. Um, got it vacuumed out. Shout out to Super Clean. Using Super Clean to scrub the floor now. Kind of filthy, not too terrible. We'll see what it does. I'd say it worked pretty good. I came to the farm quickly to check on Mason's cleaning detailing business of the chopper from that last video that he used Super Clean for. Again, shout out Super Clean. They sent us a bunch of products to try and use, and that was one of them. So I'm gonna check out what he did, and then there's a bunch of details all about Super Clean down below. Ooh, so clean. I think this is the cleanest I've ever seen this chopper. Did good. Thanks, Super Clean, for sending us all that stuff. Again, details in the caption below. Big Friday afternoon project. Going to get some floaters for Brandon's New Holland sprayer. So, found a set at Ag Systems, brand new on the rims. Haven't seen them yet, but I guess they're ours. So, well, apparently, they're nice. Yeah. We'll find out. Got the trailer hooked up. See if we make it home without losing the tire. Yep. Oh, it'll be alright. They bounce. Uh huh. Better watch where I'm going here, Jesus. <laughs> Keep her on the road. Yep. Well, it was eventful, but what's the magic words? That ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah. you gotta kick it. <laughs> go, go kick it. Go hit it so it don't fly off. The next scene will be us rolling this sucker out of the ditch. They're round. They're <laughs> no bounce. Yeah, we got a little offset load there, but that's minor. Ah, it'll be all right. You'll have that on them bigger jobs. Oh, yeah. Suppose we should go inside and actually, you know, pay for them. Yeah, or not. It's recommended. Well, it was Friday when we got the tires picked up that you just saw, obviously. And now it's Tuesday the next week. Uh, had to do some paperwork on Monday, but actually moving a little corn today. We bought some corn from a farmer. And now I'm going to pick it up. So I got one of the straight trucks up there already, and he's loading that right now. And I got the second one started here. We had to put some new batteries in it. so. Finally got her going and heading up to pick up the full truck and I'll depart this one under his auger and then I'm gonna start moving loads. You know, I'll, he'll load the one truck while I'm dumping the other. It's kind of how it works and works out pretty good. Taking it to our grain facility and that's that. So, come along for the ride, I guess. Farm service straight to your household. Avery has one time brought an entire semi in here so we know our driveway fits it. I thought he was going to back into it. Don't hit my car! This is one big maneuver. <laughs> 
Marie, what's going on? Also, you know the sound on TikTok, dumb ways to die? That was my dumb way to die the other day. I threw Bruce Frisbee on the roof and I had to get it. And I put the ladder in ice and climbed up on the roof and got it. Right. I've been on the road for 10 years. Did you bring me a treat? No. Just had custard though. What? And you didn't bring me any? I didn't, wasn't me. It's Brandon. What are you doing? Get one. No, with this rig. Well, getting hay. Getting hay, time to play. Woot woot. No. What is this street truck? Give us some details. <laughs> Great line. Got a Mercedes in it. Slow. Eight speed. Brand new box. You're really not selling it. Yeah, it's not that great, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what happens if it's our time to upgrade? So we try and sell this rig and then. Well, then I'll wash it. It'll be the greatest thing ever. And then somebody sees this video and they're like, ooh, it's actually terrible. He's so unexcited and unenthused about it. So that's not a good Drive's thing. Drive's nice. Ride's nice. It's got a lot of horsepower. No horses in the back. Well, I realized I never filmed an outro. The next video we got is a sneak peek under the hood of the pulling tractor. But uh, for now, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.